In this video, we will implement a feature of creating posts via HTML form almost in the same way like we did in the last video. And I want to start with creating a form. So in the forms py, let's import the post class from the models model. And I need a new class post form that will inherit its properties from the model form class. And then inside the post form class, I'm creating the meta subclass. And I have to bind this post form class with the post class. So I want to have the title, the slug, I need a body for my post and uh, tags. The date of publication will be filled automatically and uh, I don't need it in my form. Then I want to have the same styles like the tag form has. So widgets dictionary. Authors dictionary class form control. The next one, the slug. just copy and paste it here then the body it will be the text area text area lower case area author's dictionary will be the same just a different class and the tags forms select multiple and the same author's dictionary and then I want to have the clean slug method it will be almost the same like in the tag form so I just copy it here on the same level as the class meter and there is no uniqueness validation because I want to have after generated unique slugs. And uh, that's all with the form. The next steps are a URL pattern, a view, and an HTML template with this form. So in the URLs py module, I want to create a new URL pattern. Post create. Let's move it up here above the post detail view. Then post create. And the name will be post create URL. Okay. The next step is to create a view post create class. In the views.py module I'm creating a new class. I need to import my post form and here the get method will be the same empty form that I want to display to a user. Then I need to create a new HTML template. Post create HTML.
the title blog create post and the content block will be almost the same like in the tag create html so i just copy this form and paste it here create post and I need a link to the post create URL okay this form can be includes and I think that we can test it right now post create and we can see our form okay okay the get method works and now let's add some space below button below form so in the form i add the new css class margin bottom 5 okay the post method for my post create view the post method will be the same like in the tag create view so just copy and paste it here and i need to use here the post form new post post create url and that's all let's check it again f5 okay i got a new post the last one and the next step is the slug generation and i can generate slug on the forms level in the clean method for example or on the models level it's up to you anyway but i'll do it on the models level so i'm opening the models py model and django has a special function slugify and uh, let's play with it in the Django shell let's say that we have some title and now i'm calling the slugify function and passing into it the title and i've got ready for usage a slug for a post if the title is not ascii symbols it is better to pass into slugify function the allow unicode parameter allow underscore unicode True. and it is the first part of the generating unique slugs i will pass to the slugify function a title of my post and uh, the second part is a uniqueness itself and to make a string unique i will append to the end of the string a poach time or unix time it is the amount of seconds that passed from the first january of the 1970 year so from time import time
and to the returning value of the slugify function, I'll append this time. Something like this. And this slug is unique. So in the modules py module, I am defining a new function. Let's say it will be gen slug that accepts some string. Also, I want to import the time function. The slug variable will be equals to slugify function that accepts s as the first argument and uh, allow any code true and I want to return this slug plus f string with and that's all and now I want to generate the unique slug before an instance of the post model will be saved to the database, but only in the case of creating a new post. If I will want to edit the post, there is no need to generate a unique slug again. And to do it, I have to define the save method for the post model. The save method accepts positional arguments and keyworded arguments. And as you know, an instance of a model gets its ID property when it will be saved to a database. And this trick I want to use here. So if not self ID, if there is no ID, it is a new post and then I need to generate a new slug for it. So self slug equals to gen slug function this one and I'm passing into it the self title and after that I just call the save method of the parent class super save and pass into it all positional and keyworded arguments args qw args and that's all and the last thing i want to make the slug field of the post model not required anymore so i want to add to the definition of the slug the blank property set to true Let's restart the server and create a post without slug. F5 post create. I've got this slug. It's working. And now I want to create a mixing for creating views because my post create view and the tag create view are almost identical. So I am opening the utils py module and I want to import the redirect function. Then I just copy the entire class, take create here, and 
and I want to rename all changeable data. So here will be the model none template none. Then here will be self model. self template in the post method it will be self model new object maybe but it, it doesn't matter self template and that's all now i need to import this class to the views py model and i need to inherit my tag create and post create from this mixing tool then the model will be tag form template will be tag create these two methods I can delete and the same for the post create view post from here Let's test it. Name view is not defined. That's right, utils py module. I copied tag create view, but it is a mixing. So once more. Okay. The get method is working. We can see our form. Post form object is not callable. Utils py line 27. Here, views py model and I assign to the model variable an instance of the post form, not the class, but its instance. So my mistake, I'm sorry for that. I have to assign to the model variable the class itself. Once more, continue. Some new post, great. And tag create. It works. Great. We have done with creating posts and tags via forms. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please thumb up and subscribe to the channel.